what is a supraventricular tachycardia? Supraventricular tachycardia, or SVT, is when the heart beats too fast, usually at a rate of 130 to 250 beats per minute. SVT is a type of arrhythmia or irregular heart rhythm. It is caused by faulty electrical signals in the heart and often affects young, healthy people. During an episode of SVT, the heartbeat is not controlled by the normal timer of the heart called the sinus node. Another part of the heart overrides this timer with faster impulses. SVT occurs when there is an extra electrical pathway in the heart between the atria and the ventricles. This allows electrical signals to short circuit and re-enter the atria. The signals end up traveling around the heart in a circle. These types of SVT are often referred to as re-entrant tachycardias or paroxysmal SVT. This means symptoms come on suddenly and are temporary. Who gets SVT? In most cases, the first episode of SVT begins in childhood or early adulthood. However, a first episode of SVT can occur at any age. It is an uncommon condition, but the exact number of people affected is not known. Certain triggers may increase the risk of developing an episode of SVT, especially in those people who have already had episodes. These may include medications, drinking large amounts of caffeine or alcohol, stress or emotional upset, and smoking. Avoiding these triggers will often reduce the frequency of SVTs. What are the symptoms of SVT? Possible symptoms include the following. Your pulse rate becomes 140 to 200 beats per minute. Sometimes your pulse may be even faster. The normal pulse is 60 to 100 beats per minute. Palpitations or feeling your heartbeat. Dizziness or feeling lightheaded. You may become breathless. You may occasionally feel some mild chest discomfort. You may have no symptoms or are just aware that your heart is beating fast. Sometimes your blood pressure may become low with too fast of a heart rate, especially if it persists for several hours. In some cases, this causes a faint or collapse. An episode of SVT usually starts suddenly for no apparent reason. Symptoms last as long as the episode of SVT lasts. This may be seconds, minutes, hours, or rarely longer. It then stops just as suddenly as it started. In some cases, short bursts of SVT occur several times a day. At the other extreme, an episode of SVT may occur just once or twice a year. In most cases, it is somewhere in between. When I would have the palpitations or the fast heart rate, I would notice, like, I would feel like there was a weight on my chest. I feel really, really weak and lightheaded, like all the energy had been sucked out of my body. I would feel really tired and um, just exhausted. Normally, it would just last for very short periods of time. It would last longer than if I was to like be running and just take a break and catch my breath. The main time I noticed it when I went swimming is when I would like hold my breath and swim, swim underwater for long periods of time and when I would come up I would notice that there was a difference and like my heart was beating really fast and it took really long time for it to slow down. Whereas like when you're running and you stop and you catch your breath It'll slow down. It may take a second, but it'll slow down. I just thought it was just being overactive. I didn't comprehend the seriousness of what it could have been. I just thought it was, you know, you running or being active and your heart rate just going up. I never thought of it as a concern. It seemed really scary to find out that it was something abnormal with my heart. Treatment of SVT. The treatments have to be balanced against the possible side effects and risks. Some people prefer to put up with the symptoms if they are not too bad and only occur now and then. 
Not treating as an option if episodes of SVT are infrequent, only last a short time, or cause few symptoms. Options include the following. You can take medication every day to prevent episodes of SVT. A catheter ablation or destruction treatment may be an option for some types of SVT. A catheter or a small wire is passed via a large vein in the top of your leg into the chambers of your heart. It is guided by special x-ray techniques. The tip of the catheter can destroy a tiny section of heart tissue that is the source or trigger of the abnormal electrical impulses. This is only suitable if the exact site of the trigger can be found by special tests and be located accurately by the catheter tip. Radio frequency energy is then delivered through the ablation catheter to create lesions to block the abnormal electrical pathway or focus initiating the arrhythmia. It can be very successful and after the procedure you will not need to take medication to prevent SVT. The successful ablation of the pathway will prevent the recurrence of SVT.